Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Sierra Spongia, and today I am going to be dyeing one of my wigs red. Um, today I went to Miss, Missy Boutique with my homegirl, and I got me a bob wig, 12 inch, 613 with brown roots. So I'm super excited, I'm going to um, go ahead and do the watercolor method, so I'm super excited for you guys to see how it's going to turn out. Missy Boutique. And for this wig, I only paid $125. That's such a great deal. It's the free part. So I can part it any way I want to part it. If I want to, um, a middle part, I could do that side part. Or just walk around like this, I could do that. So let's go ahead and put some water, hot water, in our tray and get things to pop it. Put some water in. This is hot water. Okay, yeah, probably that's not a good idea. What I just did, that was definitely not a good idea. <laughs> it has to be steaming hot water. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me get the spatula <laughs> to start. A little spatula. Um, so again, this hair is from Missy Boutique. I paid $125 for. It's in Atlanta for a 12 inch. And we're gonna Go ahead and dip it. It also comes with a strap in it as well. <clears throat> so first things first, we're gonna put the dye in the hot water. So you guys see what color this is. So we're gonna put it in the hot water. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Super excited to see how this hair is gonna come out. This thing, can y'all see this? Look what color that it is. This thing is look amazing. <clears throat> All right, let's pour at least half of this, another bottle. And then we strike. Okay. And then we're gonna stir it up. Look at the wrist. Mm, I didn't want to put it put it on my spoon, so I did it like this. And we're just gonna keep stirring until I see all the little jelly jelly wood things from the dye is gone. <clears throat> and we're ready to dip the wig. Let me make sure we got this dye ready. So they supposedly say that the lace won't get the color. So So that's gonna be kind of cool. Mm. 
I just don't want my straps to get a different color. Okay, I wonder, I'm super nervous about what color this thing's gonna turn. Looks like it's turning pink. But I need it to turn red. So I'm gonna let it sit in there for longer. I might need to put more red in this because it's turning out pink. Well, not necessarily pink, but not really a dark red, if you know what I mean. I need it to be a dark red. So I think I'm gonna put more red in it for sure. This thing's hot. This is a pretty color though. I don't know if y'all see this. But this is the color of the hair. It's like a pretty color. Maybe I might keep it this color. I don't know. I kind of like this color. Not gonna lie. So we'll see. I'm just gonna um dip it a few more times. Okay, you guys. I finished watercolor dyeing it, and this is the outcome. I like it. It has like hints of light red, like kind of pink, and there's no dye inside my lace, of course. And this is just super nice. Look at the front of it. So I'm definitely going to be plucking it. And you guys will have to see how it turns out. Okay, you guys. This is the outcome of the wig that I dyed using the watercolor method. Uh, again, I got this wig from Mo Missy Boutique. And I paid $125 for it. And this is the wig. So, I know I need to get my wig skills down, but this is what it is so far styling it, how I styled it. See the back, got body, side side down boom and this is how i styled this wig next time for my next video i will be showing you the step by step how to do it so that way ladies you you can see how i style my wigs but this is it so far so i just want to show y'all again okay Bye.